DIY with KB. What did you get me into, girl? Like, I need, we need to talk. <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Andrea, part of the Doc Lemming duo. If you are new and if you're not and you are coming back for some more, welcome back. Today is going to be exciting and kind of scary just in time for Halloween because it's not going to be a shop with me. It's not going to be a haul. This is a DIY project. It's going to be vlog style, not very formal at all. Um, my place is a mess. Um, I moved stuff around. I've been trying to make space for this stuff. So I shifted everything that was in here over there. So it looks crazy. So I need to hurry up and get this done so I can get that situated. But off that, I've had these Ikea shelves for over a month now. They've been sitting in the cardboard boxes and it's time to bring them to life. So that's what we're doing. And I was just gonna keep them white, minimal, sleek, but I just felt like I need to customize this a little bit. Um, I thought this was going to be cute, you know, white on white <laughs> like the before. But I forgot I needed to spray paint something black. So I'm going to have to change it to something black. Um, but yeah, hold on. I'm going to go change. And then we're going to go spray paint these so they can dry what we assemble the rest of the bookcase. Okay, so I got them all black. Mm-hmm. Still kind of cute but um i forgot to tell y'all this or show y'all the stuff that i got um for this project of course i got the bigger book case but we're gonna be using these can y'all see them they're just tap lights but i thought these are really chic because they're not like the um like the regular one everything else i saw were either like white or really silver these are kind of like a gun metal type and i wanted to it to be kind of subtle because I can't flush it to the shelf, you know what I'm saying? So I got this. Um, for, they were $14.99 at Home Goods. Um, I only saw one pack, and unfortunately, I haven't been able to find it online either. I'm gonna keep searching. Um, but they're battery operated, come with a remote, thought that was perfect. Um, we got spray paint. I was going to do the whole actually paint the shelves or the bookcase, I don't know why I keep saying shelves. Um, but I was looking on YouTube and everybody was like, oh, because of what it's made of, you're going to have to sand it and then you're going to have to um, prime it and paint it. And I was gonna do all that, like I'm fine with doing it, but I went to Lowe's and like all the rollers, all the paint, it was just too many options. So I just picked up some spray paint and I hope this works. Um, it says any angle, any surface. And it's an all-in-one paint and primer, so hopefully it works well. Um, contact paper, this is what is going to set it off, I believe. This is from Amazon. They were $24.99 a piece. A little expensive, but the cheaper one looked cheap. Like, it didn't look like wood, like the flooring I have here in my place now. So I was like, you know what? I'm already saving on buying the bookcase. Let's just splurge a little bit, get some quality um, contact paper. And I know you guys have seen the knobs that come with the bookcase. They're like these little, you know, is that my smoke alarm? Oh, ah, the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. I need to change the battery. Sorry, guys. But um, I got these 18-inch door handles or hardware or whatever you want to call them. Came with a set of, it's a set of five. You know, like $30 on Amazon. So I thought this would look way more custom, way more geared towards towards RH than Ikea. So yeah, these are matte. So it's a spray paint. So I think that'll look very sleek, very elegant. And I got a drill today. I put it so official. It's like cordless. I don't know where the other one we had around here is, but you know. Um, it was only 30 bucks. So it came with a kit. It had like these these bits. It had like the Phillips, the flathead, you know, all that in it too. So hopefully it works well. It's the cheapest one. So I picked it up and I think that's it. Now I just have to um, tape off the glass because I don't want it to get ruined when I spray paint. So I'm going to put some like coupon paper that I had around here around it and tape it 
so we can go outside and spray paint before it gets dark. I don't know why I waited so late to do this, but I felt like I needed to go to Home Goods today. So I went, I got a few things, and I had to go to Lowe's, and then I had to take all the stuff out of the boxes. So let's not waste any more time. It's go time. I didn't have any newspaper, so I just had these coupons. First, I'm gonna make sure ain't nothing here that I want because I still like to save some coins. And we all in black, like it's gangland. Hey. being cheap because I could have gotten the black Billy bookcase but it was 90 extra dollars and I was like Psh, I'll just paint I totally would have paid extra 90 because <laughs> this prepping so necessary but so tedious and annoying but just hindsight just paid extra 90 it really is worth it <laughs> you know what I'm thinking I wonder if I can just like spray paint and hold something up to it so it doesn't get on the glass. Hmm. Let me see. I need a flat piece though. Period. Okay, so apparently you can clean spray paint off of glass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prep it with tape. <laughs> That's it because it's just taking too long. I'm hungry, I'm tired, and I'm anxious to get this done. So um, I tested out my theory with the cardboard and it did kind of make a mess because the spray paint just gets everywhere. But there's a way to clean spray paint off the glass. So I'm just gonna be careful and whatever paint I get on the glass, I'm gonna clean it off. I'm gonna take y'all outside. Okay, I think I got a little bit of a method going. So I'm gonna bring the other two out here and, and keep moving. This actually turned out pretty good on this side. Might have to do another coat to make it like even. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So much work. I should have just bought the black ones. It's okay though. Okay, so house is a wreck, but finally got everything spray painted. I had to go back to Lowe's and get another can of spray paint. So I was debating on whether I should put the shelves together first and then wrap them, but I think if I wrap them first and then put them together, that'd be easier. So I won't have to be working with angles. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap them first and then we're gonna assemble. Okay, y'all can see this now. I'm such a weak. This is how it looks. So I'm pretty excited about it. Okay, so don't mind all that dust and stuff that was up under my couch. I'll clean that in a minute. But I just kind of want to show you how I'm doing this. I'm just taking this plastic knife. And I already peeled off a corner. So I'm just working from that and peeling as I go. And using this to smooth it out. So just find the backing. Pull some out. And then do that. Get me air bubbles out. And I can still fill the holes so I can still assemble it.
okay so this is the progress um i had to peel it back up and come back out because i was noticing it wasn't lined right right here um i purposely left some of this out this part isn't going to be showed because it's the back but i wanted to make sure i could cover the part that will be shown so um once you get it lined up right it's actually pretty easy so I'm just going to do the rest of these um, and then I'll come back and show you guys because I'm sure you don't want to see me just sitting here wrapping for a few shelves. So see you in a bit. Okay y'all, excuse the mess, but I'm already loving how the black looks against my contact paper y'all. It looks so good. It's going to be so good when I put the glass doors on. Ah, I'm excited. This is so worth it. A lot of work but it was so worth it okay I gotta go back to what I was doing so see y'all in a bit okay so dinner break is over I'm about to get back to it um, I'm about to go ahead and attempt to put these glass doors on um, like I said I'm gonna have to touch up right here this is what I'm talking about how the paint kind of just peels off I guess I was a little bit too rough but I want to put these lights on first um, can you focus yeah see it's like a gun metal color and I really I'm really excited about this this was a pack it came in so I've been looking online and I haven't been able to find them um, like I said these were $14.99 remote controlled battery operated so right up my alley so I'm about to put these on really quick and then show you guys I think I got them pretty even. The good thing about these, um, they do take AAA batteries, but once you, you can either stick them on, it comes with like, um, comes with, what do you call it? Like double-sided tape or screws. This got so dusty so quick, I'm gonna have to dust it, but um, you can use the tape or screws. I chose tape at this point. Put my batteries in there, and then the good thing is when, when you need to re-up on batteries, you just can you don't have to take the whole thing down oh my gosh I can't see um, oh here and then you just twist it on there kind of like a smoke alarm and they're on there so let's see okay so yeah they look pretty even so here's the remote um, power on power off you can dim it down or make it brighter and you can set a timer so let's see okay so ah! <laughs> it looks so good so that's the brightest one and then you can dim it down it's that one. Oh my gosh I'm so excited y'all I did this by myself I'm still not done you can kind of see some imperfections but it's okay um Nobody's going to be looking that hard. And once I have my decorations in there, you won't be able to see. But y'all look. It looks so good. Now I got to tackle the other side of this. But yeah. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay. Bye. Okay. So now I'm just um, going in and putting in the holes. Good thing about these lights now, I can see where the holes are. You see those little air bubbles? Those are holes. So I'm just going through and like... Oh like poking I have these needle nose pliers so I'm just going through and poking in the holes so I can put in my shelves okay that's another update um still working at it it is <laughs> 9 38 so yeah gonna keep on trucking okay so I have them on the floor these holes right here that you guys see this is where the knobs would have been um the ones that came with it but like these are the ones that came these are the ones that came with the door but i'm not feeling them so i'm changing them and i have to figure out how to make the holes for them and how to make them even so i'm about to get some painters tape and try to do some magic okay so this is what i've decided to do so i put some painters tape on here so I can kind of have a scale of where I'm trying to put these knobs. I decided to put them right here. It's about eight 
and a quarter on each side. So that's how I'm scaling them. Okay, so I had to do some math. So like I said, from here to here at the top um, is about eight and a quarter inches. And from here to here is about one and three quarters. So if you divide that by two, you get about 0.875, I think is what I got. And my measuring tape goes down to 14. So I didn't go all the way to 13 14 because that's like 0.9 and I didn't want it to be that off. So I went with 12 14 and I just marked where that would be and lined it up to where this line was. So that's where the center of the knob is gonna be or the center of the handle is gonna be. How old are your kids? Six and eight. Those so I already ages. marked well, off my spot. Still young enough to want to. I just hope they're okay. Yeah, I'm just I gonna. Okay, so I stripped the screw. So I'm like doing surgery, trying to get it out. Little by little. It's coming up though. It was stuck. Yep, we got it. Oh, gee whiz. And we have handles. Um, this actually took me a really long time. <laughs> um, it's centered, by the way. But um, I kind of messed up the paint. I chipped away at it with with the drill, but I can touch that up. Um, I'm probably gonna end up actually painting these doors because y'all, the way it chips, I just should have listened to the YouTube videos. Um, but I'll end up painting them later. Right now, I just want to kind of get this done and get these doors up. Okay, guys, so we are five days post DIY project, and this is it. I still kind of want to tweak some things. I'm thinking about doing something a little bit different on the face of the um, cabinet, just so like it'll look a little bit more vintagey. Maybe I'll do. <laughs> A different DIY I know it's crazy because this actually put me through hell but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I want it to look exactly how I want it to look I tried this glass cleaner that I found and I used Windex but the windows or the glass is still not like crystal clear like I want and I'm probably just gonna have to clean it a couple times because I did have to scrub it with like household cleaner to get some of the spray paint off but I'm happy with it so I'm about to go get dressed because I'm in a t-shirt so we can do some last looks and I can give y'all <laughs> some advice, some pros and some cons. Be right back. If hell was a DIY project, baby, this is it. This gave me so much hell, y'all. I started this on Saturday and it's Wednesday. Now, mind you, I do have a job, a full-time job, so I couldn't commit all my time to it. But it was all worth it. I'm happy with it um, right now. I do want to kind of do some other things to it. Probably play around with the face of it so it doesn't look so just flat. Um, I'm kind of thinking about doing some texture. But that's going to be in the future because I just can't right now. We need some space. <laughs> So just some advice, cause just from me to you, cause I'm trying to help me to help you, to help me, to help you. But yeah, one, just find it and buy it y'all. Literally, I wish I could find this design. I honestly, I guess I did find it. It was at Restoration Hardware, but I didn't want to pay that much. So if you have my problem and you didn't want to pay for it, or you can't afford it, or you just can't find what you're looking for and you do want to DIY it, and you do want to do this particular project by the Black Billy bookcase. I wish I would have gotten the black one, but originally I didn't want to go with this design. I had a whole different mindset and different plan. So that's why I got the white. Um, plus it made for a good video. I mean, <laughs> I think it's some pretty good content. 
I'll show a picture of what I wanted to do in here. But after I kept scrolling on Pinterest and, you know, looking at different inspo, I decided to change it up. I'm so indecisive, it just ended up being what it is now. So I had to paint. And... So originally I wasn't going to do this much work to this bookcase. I was just gonna paint the doors black and just leave it how it was and then decorate. But I am so inspired by the of KB. You don't know who she is. She is a YouTuber here and she is just good at doing stuff. Her and her wife have this eye that is just like, mm. but I will say she makes it look way easier than what it really is because this was the hardest thing. Well, not the hardest, but one of the hardest things I've ever done. Like in life like in real life i'm not even being dramatic like i have battle wounds this is not for the faint at heart diy with kb what did you get me into girl like i need we need to talk <laughs> three find somebody to do it for you i know it's a diy project but sometimes we just don't have time for that and somebody else might and you got the coins They'll make the time. Oh, no. They make them when you got the coins. <laughs> so if you want to do a DIY project or you want something done, honestly, I wish I could have just found somebody to do it for me at this point. But I am very proud of myself. Okay, now on to some things that I wish I would have done to the actual Billy Bookcase. Just to make the process easier, I wish I would have sanded and painted instead of spray painted because that was just way more work than what it was worth. It probably would have been better if I would have actually finished prepping, but I get so impatient. Um, so I was just like, whatever, I'll clean it later. That never works, y'all. I think everybody kind of knows that even with painting a house, just prep, just go ahead and prep so you don't have to clean up the mess later because it really does save you time in the long run. But I am proud of the work that I did and the way that it has come out. I love the lights that I put on the top. I was originally going to try to bring them all the way down or at least like every other shelf. But I think that would be overkill plus what I have planned on the side. I'm not going to need that much more lighting. All we have to do now is decorate. Fun, fun, fun. This is my lane. So, oh y'all thought this was going to be in this video? Uh. Uh-huh. Well, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Uh-huh. 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 No. Nah. Nah, dawg. It's no for me. I need some space. I need some healing time because my mental, my physical, I have bruises. This is not for the faint at heart, y'all. But it will be in my next video. We are going to decorate. I'm going to do some small DIY projects, stuff I can actually handle, stuff that I know that I can do, like making vessels or repurposing like glass and making them look like vessels. So make sure you guys stick around for that. All the things that I have found in my hauls that I have shared with you from Home Goods, I am so ready to fill this case up with those goodies. And it's gonna be so good. It's gonna look so much better after it's actually decorated and gives give it a little homey touch. So until next time, subscribe. Tag me on Instagram if you took on this project or if you did something similar because I would love to see it. Let me know if you have any advice for what I can do to fix it. I still have to kind of tweak some things like the paint is still a little bit uneven. I didn't want to just show you the finished product and be like, oh, this is how I did it, this is how I do it. did it. I want to actually share the trials and tribulations that were the process of putting this together. How can I say this? Sometimes you don't have to learn by messing up sometimes you can learn from other people's mistakes and that's why i wanted to make this video the way that i did because i made plenty of mistakes some of them are still showing that's why i have to go back and finish it but i'm fine with it for now um and that's just how it's gonna stay and i could have gotten help but honestly i don't like asking for help unless i really really need it and i don't got time to wait for nobody else so i just did it plus when you do stuff yourself, you feel so much more accomplished, so much more appreciative of the process and of the finished product. So I did this all by myself. Nobody helps. I'm every woman and you can't tell me no different on period. I've been kind of eyeing the um, DIY project that DIY with KB did with the clay on her Target shelves. So I think that might be cool, but like I said, I need some space. I need to just 
mentally decompress. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Peace out.